Magandang araw mga kababayan. Naimbag na aldaw yung amin kakailian. Again, this is Sheila Dr. Hernandez, your licensed immigration advisor based in Timor, New Zealand. Okay, so this is to answer the questions received from the first and second video on the proposed immigration policies for temporary workers in New Zealand. So, first question, are you affected by the proposed immigration policies? So, madami sa inyong nagpadala ng mga um, background, salary nila, and asking, affected ba kami sa, the, sa proposed immigration policies? So, I will teach you how to check kung affected ba kayo o hindi. Okay, so first is to check kung Yung current work visa nyo ba is essential skills because as discussed in previous videos, ang affected by the proposed immigration rules or policies ay ang essential skills work visa holders. So, have a look at your passport or your visa sa passport ninyo kung essential skills work visa ba ang hawak ninyo. Okay? So, ang essential skills work visa are granted to applicants who have the necessary experience and or qualification to work on a job where no available New Zealanders are suitable to take the job. Ang second step ay to check yung ANSCO skill level ng occupation ninyo or yung work ninyo. So, to check that, pupunta kayo sa website na to. So, let's try. Okay, and type yung occupation in your friends is truck driver madaming nag message ng mga truck drivers asking ko ano yung um code nila or skill level nila okay so things sa truck drivers okay i'm sky skill level 4 okay so ito yung mga tasks na ginagawa ng truck driver at ito yung mga occupations. Okay. So, for truck driver general, ito yung ANSCO code. Ito yung skill level. And ito yung quartas ng isang truck driver. Okay. Step 3 is, ano ba ang salary ninyo? So, paano nyo ba malalaman? So, pupunta. Balikan ninyo yung employment contract ninyo, nakasulat doon kung ano yung hourly rate ninyo. Yung iba nagtatanong, an, paano mag-compute ng annual salary rate? So, this value was computed dito sa 23.49 per hour times 40 hours per week times 52 weeks in one year to get yung 48,859. So, ito po yun. Okay? So, yung mga overtime ninyo and allowances are not included in the computation. Kung ano yung regular working hours nyo, yun lang ang magiging basis ng computation. So, now na alam mo na yung ANSCO skill level mo and identified mo na rin ang iyong salary, so you can now classify kung ano ang skill level mo. High skilled or low skilled. Okay. For high skilled, essential skills work visa holders. Kasi madami din nagtatanong. Kung after the implementation date ng proposed immigration policies, are they, are they eligible to apply for work visa or visitor partnership visas? Yes, kasi hindi nga kayo affected. And is your child eligible to apply for dependent child student visa? Yes. And are you affected by the stand down period? No. So, high-skilled, essential-skills, work visa holders are not affected by the proposed immigration policies. Okay, so for low-skilled, after the implementation date of the proposed immigration policies, can you still apply for essential-skills work visa? Yes, you can still apply. You still have three years after the implementation date. So, in my previous video, I have taught you kung paano mag-count ng three years after the implementation date. Okay, so sa ibang nagtatanong, can your partner and child apply for a partnership visa and domestic student visa before the implementation date of the proposed immigration policies? The answer is yes, but please note that you and your family will be affected by the new rule from the first renewal of your current visa. So, pag-isipan yung mabuti and know your risk kung dadalhin nyo ba dito yung family nyo pa o hindi nyo.